Hi, everyone. My name is David Derricott. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today for another webinar. I'm going to actually be talking about one of my favorite add-ons, Vince Vor Veracity. It's been one of our most popular add-ons and most successful. And I'm going to hopefully be able to explain and show everybody how this works and how you can implement this with your trading. First off, we need to read our disclaimer that this demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and accompanying software plugins and is not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using these specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software, any trading strategies or any information provided in connection with the company. Basically, we all know that there's a risk in trading and you're liable for your own trading decisions. So let's give you a little bit of a background of Vince Vora. He has been trading for 30 plus years and has been very successful at it. And he's got a very good system here. He likes to keep things very simple, straightforward, and it has worked out very well for him. And he's been very successful. And this add-on is one of the most successful trading systems that he's used uh, wh while he's been trading professionally. So anyway, like it says here, he's been trading for three decades, has been trading professionally and developed his trading systems that are based on technical analysis and price action. And this really does help with avoiding the whipsaws in the markets when it's just a kind of a choppy area. It's almost literally impossible to trade through that type of a situation. And the trend just really does not agree with you. And most of the times you're going to be chasing the trend. So he's really made this system and has perfect, tried to perfect it as close as possible. Obviously, there's never a perfect system out there. But over the last few years, his focus has been on teaching traders and how to be more successful. And this system that's a very sophisticated can be used with any type of market, any type of condition, any time frame. Uh, what's also very nice is you can use it with stocks, commodities, Forex, index features, everything that you want. Options is a big one that he actually likes to trade a lot lately as well. So let's go ahead and kind of talk about what you get. So we've already pre-built the template for you. You don't have to go in and open the chart and then apply the indicators. There's literally a couple clicks and you've got his system applied to the Metastock chart. And what he does is he uses what we call a setup um, exploration. And what he does is he puts a diamond on the chart before um, you actually get your signal. So it's kind of like a pre-alert type situation or a trigger. And then it has to meet the certain conditions in order for it to be true. And that's when the signal is generated on the chart. But what's really nice is, is we spent a lot of time programming this. And it's got a very good and detailed um, expert commentary that works, like I said, with any market out there. And I'll kind of just start off by showing you how you can use the scanning functionality. And then we'll dive in and just kind of talk about different stocks that you can use with this. So if you're new to Metastock and have not seen any of our presentations, uh, the way that you start off, you can do some scans here. And you just click on the little P, red P up here on the top left corner. And that opens up our Power Console. So once we have our Power Console open, you have a couple different options. You can just open up your charts, or if you want to run an exploration. Um, we won't get into this, but there's also system tests and forecasts that are part of the Power Tools in the software, too. So, and that's always the biggest thing that a lot of people always ask me. Well, gosh, you know, you have these great systems, and in this case, this great add-on. How do I really pick the candidates that are going to work for me? Well, you come down here where it says Vince Vora Veracity Setups, and that is what it's going to, I mean, if you kind of, let me back up just a little. If you pay attention to the chart in the background, you'll see these little green diamonds on the chart, and that's what we're scanning for here. We're looking for any setups that are going to be like a pre trigger. And so it kind of warns you, hey, there's going to be a, an opportunity to get into a trade. And so we want to scan on the setups first. And you can scan on the signals, but I really just like to pay attention and scan on the setups because that's really what I want to look for. And so what I have done also inside of Metasog, this is kind of just a side note as well, you can actually download your own data and use that to run your scans. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to run a scan on the optional stocks. There's about 4,300 of them. And then I just want to make sure I'm only selecting those. OK. And then over here on this right side, you just select Start Exploration. Um, and I'm only selecting the Vince Vora one for the setups. And this will generate a list for us so we know exactly the ones that are triggering alerts or basically pre-alerts 
so I don't have to go and pick and choose ones that may or may not be good to, or work well with Veracity. And it really doesn't matter which one you, which symbols you look at. You might have your own set list, and it may not uh, work with the list that you have. But it really doesn't matter which symbols you're looking at because as long as you've got the right amount of volume and the, you're getting the right signals and you're actually able to trade with it and trade a good stock, then it really doesn't matter. You could use what's in your list or not. But in this case, let's just go in and open up a few here. So I've got Optus Bank uh, came up on the top, so let's just double click and open that. Okay, so now I've got a long setup. I'm gonna go ahead and just close out the Explorer results. I'll come back to it in just a second. So what you really are looking for are these big, large moves. Um, Vince Ward kind of explains, you know, when you see these choppy areas, just kind of just put these little, what he likes to do is he puts um, little like support and resistance lines on here. So it's like, okay, how do you know not to be taking any of these trades? Well, when you kind of see a pattern like this, these little choppy areas, you see it right here as well, you're, it's almost literally impossible to trade through that. And the only reason that you would trade through it and how you can um, identify these breakout points is you can see this large one right here. Just ha a great move. And then let's zoom in just a little bit here so I can show everybody in the class. So if let's say that we were in the market right now and we had this breakout. The reason that I would take, or that he recommends that you take this is because the slope indicator, or the, basically it's a 20 period simple moving average, it has broken through the um, the last bar there, once or sorry, the uh, the setup candlestick, and then the very next bar candlestick, excuse me, it actually gave you the signal. Now, why did it give you the signal? So the one thing that you pay attention to as part of this add-on is what he does is once you get that setup, you have to make sure in this particular case because we're going to do a short here, you have to make sure that it's that the next candlestick is below the low of the previous candlestick. As long as it breaks through that, then that would be a good indication to get into the trade. And you can kind of see as well because of the candle patterns, you know, if you read patterns or have identified and studied trends and things like that, then that's really why you would take this. And you can see right here, it's broken through that moving average. So that would be the reason to get into this trade. And he actually has a lot of different training classes that he goes through as well. There's a few other YouTube videos that he's gone through. And that's what he explains. You know, if when you see these choppy markets in here, nobody wants to trade through there. There's just a, too much consolidation and the market's really deciding what it wants to do at that point. And you really don't know. And so what we like to do, or what he does, is he identifies like the high, high and low, low of this area. And once it breaks through the uh, signal line or the signal candle, that's when you would get into that trade. And so, and he kind of goes over this and identifies the slope. And this is, a, you know, it's a very simple, easy system to follow. So now that you've gotten this set up and we hit the trigger, let's just kind of move to the next part. So I'm on the trigger line now, or the trigger candle. And what he really talks about and what's really important with the veracity is the slope. If you get this really nice slope, uh, he talks a little bit about like the 40, five degree angle on the slope. That's not necessarily why you would get into the trade, but he really does stress how much, how important it is, the slope of the trend with veracity. Because if you get this slope, it's just kind of really choppy and it's just breaking through all these candles. You don't know how to trade through that. But in this case, you've actually broken out. The slope is away from the candlesticks. And it's got this, as you can see, it's got this really nice trend, just a downtrend. And you do, and the thing is that he talks about a lot and that is really important with the veracity is you don't want to trade through these choppy markets. And that's how this can help you identify those, um, those positions, you know, these big, large moves. I mean, look at that. That was a perfect move. And then it's a very conservative system as well. So you, you'll, sometimes you'll see on the chart, you know, get in, and then a few candlesticks later, get out. You know, it's because it, the conditions have... Um, the calculations that it does in the background have told you that this is not going to be a good trade. Get out. You may have lost some money with, you know, commissions and things like that. But back over to this trade, this was, you know, like I said, I mean, it couldn't have been a, a better trade. Once it broke and met its uh, exit conditions, then it got you out. So, I mean, you got literally in on the high and just a little bit past on the low of that trend right there. 
So the one thing that I get a lot of questions on, it's like, okay, well, I got my signal. I should get in on a short or, you know, if you're trading options as well, you could do like, you know, puts or calls or whatever you want to do at that point. But if you're a stock trader and you just want to get in on a short position, where do you set your exits? How do you know? Well, with Metastock, you have this detailed commentary window that really just goes over how to set your entire trade up. But if you want, if you move to the next candlestick after the signal, it actually gives you where you should set your stops. So the veracity indicator is currently in a short position. Traders should look at exiting this position if the price of the security rises above 29.50. And then he also uses a uh, CCI indicator for an exit, and he talks about that as well in his training classes and also the uh, webinars that he's done for us. So basically, you want to make sure that the CCI closes above the zero line. And you'll see at times, um, let me kind of back up. This is always a big question that um, I had as well as other customers. You'll see these setups right here, but there's no alert. There's no entry. Well, what Veracity is doing is it's helping you not trade through this really horrible area. And I mean, it, that is almost literally impossible to trade through. And so because it hadn't hit its the low low of the um, previous candlestick and the CCI wasn't above the zero line, or excuse me, below the zero line in this case, it didn't get you in. It didn't produce a trigger for you to get in. So it really did help you stay out of a bad market or bad trend, bad trade, and it really takes advantage of those large positions. And that's what veracity is all about, and that's what trading is all about as well, because we really want to take advantage of these really good trends. And it doesn't matter if you've got a low or high price stock. You know, obviously, if you're an options trader, you you probably want to look for those um, those stocks that are that have a little bit of volume and and volatility with them because that's what you're looking for. But if you're a stock trader, it doesn't really matter what symbol you you trade. You know, anything is going to work for you. But that, with veracity, that's like like I said, you really want to pay attention to the slope of the movie, of the trend, which is your 20-day moving average. And the, the farther away, the better is what he kind of explains. And you really pay you really want to pay attention to that. And that's the biggest thing that you um, need to take into consideration. And there's a lot of different other calculations that he does in the background, but for, for the biggest part, when you're trading through a choppy market or a smooth market, that's what you need to pay attention to with this Veracity's um, add-on. So let's just grab another stock. Um, let's go grab um, AMD. And let me quickly apply the template really fast. I didn't have that one on there. Okay, so here's another great example of how Veracity could keep you out of the trade or help you stay out of a bad trade. You know, you get these choppy areas right here. So let's go ahead and just stick our little support and resistance lines on here. You get your high, high right here. Got your low, low down here. And you can see how horrible this area is. Will the veracity really help you stay out of a really choppy market? It most definitely did. You know, you get your setups on here, but there was never an actual trigger to get into the into the trade itself. So it helped you keep your capital and use it on a good trade that's going to really help you make money in the market. You know, and again, right here, even though you did get, like I had mentioned in the beginning, this is not a perfect system, but it's as close to as perfect as you could possibly get. You know, it's it's going to really help you stay out of a position that's not going to make you any money at all. You know, in this case, you got in. The slope wasn't the greatest, so I wouldn't have taken that trade. And I know Vince wouldn't have either. So the very next bar, you get in on a trade. But because it's such a conservative system, as soon as um, you start to lose money or the trend reverses on you and helps you stay out of a, a really bad trade, it got you out. Yeah, you may, may have lost some money, maybe broke even or paid some money for commissions. But you know, for the most part, that really does help you out a lot. So let's go back. Um, I want to kind of show some different symbols that not everybody obviously is a stock trader. So let's look at the future. Big one that a lot of people look for is the S&P Mini. Let's see how that one looks with Veracity. And again, th we've already pre-built everything for you. All you've got to do is just apply the template. And it automatically will apply it in everything. It puts the expert on there. and the the biggest thing that you want to you when you're using this is make sure you've got your commentary window open because without that you don't know where you should be getting in, where you should be getting out, at what price. You know, if it hits the high, that's where it explains it inside the commentary window. So this is actually a really good example right here. 
you know, you had a actually a really good trade right here. So you had your setup right here. Let's just put our commentary window on here. And that's the nice thing with Metastock as well, um, that you, you can actually, you don't have to stay on the most current candlestick. You can kind of go back and like visually back test it. Um, there isn't a back test that's set up for veracity, but what's really nice is you can kind of look at the history of the chart and you've gotten your setups, you got your signals to enter into the trade. So this one's actually a really good example. You get your setup right here. So make sure to confirm that it's a val valid short opportunity. You must wait for a trade below the setup bar to, or sorry, the bar is low to confirm a short signal. So once you've gotten that, you're into the trade. And then the very next candlestick, when it loads, it gives you your stop information. It uses a little bit of the CCI. Um, it has to close above the zero line in order for you to exit out of the trade. And you, if it rises above 28.14, then you you know, protect yourself and get out. But look at the trend right here. I mean, it was just a, a great setup from Veracity. You got in, the trend agreed with you, the slope is agreeing with you as well. You come back or you come down and, and for a future trader, this would be a really big win. And so then obviously it's gonna help you stay, get out of the trade once the trend starts to reverse. So this is how it's helping us protect our capital. Once the condition's true, it's hit the CCI, it's gone above the, above the zero line, it gets you out of the trade. So another great, a great example of this. So let's go back and look at our um, report that I had ran uh, previously. Let's kind of go through that list. Um, and I just kind of want to reiterate and really kind of focus on the fact that this is a very conservative, good system. It works with any time frame, um, any type of market. It doesn't matter if it's US. It doesn't matter if it's maybe you trade the UK markets. Maybe you trade the India markets or Australian markets. It works with any symbol, any market, and it, and it is a really good system, and it keeps you out of those choppy areas. One thing I did want to do before I go into the list again is let's say we want to look at this on a intraday chart. We have a lot of customers that trade the enemy S&P on intraday. So let's switch this over to an hourly and take a look at the trends and veracity and how it helped you out. So let's go ahead and skip that alert. So we've got our commentary window open. And then, let's see, let's grab this very last one. So right here, it's kind of interesting. So this one actually got you into the trade right here at this point. You know, and it's obviously it's not just like an awesome trade right there, but it still made you some money. And then the very next um, candlestick, it shows you where you should set your stop. Make sure the CCI closes above the zero line in order for you to get out of the trade at that point. But again, just a you know a short little move. But for intraday traders that trade the S&P, um, it would actually be a really good um, tool to be using as well. You know, if you kind of scroll back on the trend, on the chart here, you know, here's another one, great opportunity. You have a really nice slope right here. You've gotten your setup. I think I actually went on to the. No, I think I did it right. Hang on, just a second. Sorry about this. Yeah, okay. So here's your setup. It's currently signaling a long trade setup. To confirm this valid, this is a valid buying opportunity, you must wait for the trade to go above the setup bars high. So you just want to make sure it's, if you're in a long position, it goes above the high of the previous candlestick. If you're in a short position, it needs to go below the low of the previous candlestick. And then once you get into your trade, again, it just lays everything out for you. This is what is so nice with this uh, system. It's got great commentary window, and, and what you're doing is you're really just identifying that slope in the market right here, these big uptrends. And that's what he talks about a lot in these webinars is you really want to pay attention to those big moves in the market. Otherwise, you know, it's really hard to trade through something like this area here. I mean, you can, and you can see that you probably would have made a little bit of money, you know, but you really are taking a big risk with that. Instead of these little, these little moves, you're really wanting to look for these big, large moves. And the reason and how you can tell if the move is going to be large or not is obviously by the or is by looking at the previous trend, how well it did in the past. So it didn't do half bad here, you know, a little bit of wins there. You know, so you can kind of see on the chart itself by just scrolling back or just looking a little bit farther in the back how we did. You know, you'll be able to tell if this system works with that um, symbol or not. You know, again, so let's hop over to um, let's go back to the list. And we'll just go back, right click on it, and do report. I could have left it open, and it would have just minimized on the screen there, but I just decided to close it. So maybe you want to sort this by shorts. Let's go to Oracle. 
It's a good one that a lot of people like to look at. So we'll go ahead and close that out as well. So we have a setup here, but you can see the, the trend here is just, gosh, it's just really choppy. Things are consolidating. We're not really sure how um, good of a signal this would be. But what you're going to pay attention to here, or if you would take this trade, is once you get your signal in the chart, you want to make sure that it close that the next candlestick goes below, or excuse me, the candlestick that will load tomorrow, and you want to make sure that is on the low. Sorry, excuse me, that it breaks below the low of the previous candlestick, and then the very next candlestick I'd have would tell me where to set up my uh, my exit strategy, and you know, and it also m goes into play with money management. He talks a lot about money management with his training classes that he provides, and. For anybody that has Veracity currently, you do get access to those classes. Um, we actually put a link on your download page and how to access those, and you can contact trading ones directly, and they definitely can help walk you through these kinds of situations. He's even gone as far as, as said that you know if you lost on your last few trades, he'll kind of pinpoint why and where Veracity would have been able to help you through that um, maybe bad trading decisions. You know because. Nobody's perfect. We're always we're always going to be in the market for a reason that we may not and may make a bad decision, and that's where Veracity really can help you avoid those markets and avoid those large br losses and help you minimize those losses and take advantage of the, the big moves in the market. You know, like I said, it doesn't matter what type of um, symbol you have on the chart; it works with any market. Um, this obviously this is just a oracle right here, but. You know, a lot of um, short little moves, so maybe it, it wouldn't be the, the best symbol to look for, but you can tell that you, you did still make some money in here. You know, here's a good little example right here. You know, the market before, the, the trend was just kind of up, down, up, down, up, down, kept you out of some bad trends. But then also right here, as it had a large breakout, you had your setup, you had your signal to get in, and then also the next, the next bar helped you protect your stop. You went clear up here and then got out on the almost the high. So great way to, to trade the market with this uh, little add-on. You know, let's look at a 4X pair. Let's do, uh, let's do the pound. And it's just GBP equals inside of Metastock. Okay, so this is gonna be a daily chart Here's a perfect example of, of how Veracity could help you make some money in the market. And this is actually almost a, oh gosh, I mean, this is a really good setup. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So we'll just zoom in a little bit here. We've gotten our setup here, making sure we cross below the low of the previous candlestick. We got our trigger. And I did want to explain one thing. Uh, the entries and also the exits look at the CCI indicator, either when you're below zero or above zero. Sometimes you'll see on the chart there's a diamond, and sometimes you'll see it quite a bit. There's the diamond set up. Well, how come I didn't get the trigger? Even though the CCI crossed below the zero line, how come I didn't get the trigger? Well, his conditions need to be true within the first two candlesticks. So if you get the diamond and, it, and the condition doesn't calculate a trigger within the first two candlesticks, then it won't put you in that trade. And, it's, you know, and that helps you avoid those really crappy areas of, of the trend of the market and helps you avoid losing your your um, account or just a lot of money. And that's the other thing that, um, that you need to really uh, realize with this is he talks a lot about minimizing your risk. So at any time in the market, he recommends or he talks about, I shouldn't say recommend, but he talks about only risking 5% of your account, you know, because that way you can really minimize your losses. And if you do get into a bad trade, for example, um, say like this one, you know, you really wouldn't have made much money. You're probably going to pay more commissions than really getting into that trade. The conditions were true, but as you can see right here, it just kind of went sideways for a couple candlesticks, and then it, it, because it is a very conservative system, just got you right out of the trades, or right out of the, of the uh, trade. So, and it helps you avoid, avoid risk as well. Here's a perfect example right here. You got your setup, but there was no trigger because the conditions weren't true, wasn't um, crossing the right area of the CCI, and it kept you out of that trade, which you can see what happened after that. If that had given you a trigger and you had gotten in that trade, you would have lost money. You know, and this just helps you av avoid those losses and minimize your risk. So back to this um, area right here, you got your perfect setup. I mean, the slope looks good. You got that nice angle on the slope. 
Um, and again, this is just a 20 period simple moving average. You know, that is something that he does talk about a lot to pay attention to this. And you can see the slope of the trend. You know, just a great way to, um, to take advantage of those large moves in the market. And again, this is Forex. I don't trade Forex, haven't ever, but I have a lot of customers that trade Forex and use this system with Forex. And it actually is a really, really good tool. You know, aside, um, the Metastock portion has a lot of good stuff in it, but this is really helps you pick out those um, good moves in the market and what candidates are going to be best. You know, if you're a futures trader, if you're a stock trader, if you do options, he actually talks a lot about options as well if you're an options trader. Let's actually open up, you know, everybody always talks about Apple a lot. So let's go ahead and apply that one to the chart. Okay, so here's a, a good example. So when you get your setup right here, little short move, still made some honey, some money, but, and like I said, um, so we have to make sure that we cross above the high of the, of the previous candlestick, and you'll notice it didn't cross the very next candlestick, it crossed on the second one after, so that's why it puts you into the trade. And he talks a lot about options. So if you're a weekly options trader, you know, you put in your puts or calls or however, but he talks about it right here. If you're a stock trader interested in taking advantage of this opportunity, you should look at buying the stock. While an options trader should consider intermediate term call options. So you do a call two to three months as these signals can last anywhere from four to six weeks. You know, it's not, again, it's, he's not recommending or telling you when you should get out of your option or when you should get in, but he does recommend how long these options can stay active. But, and then he talks about if you are an aggressive trader, you can also follow his steps there for an option, for an aggressive options trader. And you can be as aggressive or conservative as you want to with this. It is a very conservative system. So once you, it sees that you, that the trend reverses, it gets you out of that trade to help you minimize those losses. So let's go back to, so yeah, again, it's a very simple, easy system to follow. There's really not much to it. Um, it's a great little system, works with any market. Let's, um, let's maybe take a look at, uh, let's go back and do our report here. Let's go back on the long side. I'll just kind of pick one out here. And he talks a lot about this during his uh, training classes. He's like, I don't really care what symbol it is. As long as it's meeting the conditions, the conditions are true, and it helps me make money in the market, it doesn't matter what it is. You know, here's a, here's a good example. I don't even know what these guys do. And so if you kind of take a look at this trend, you know, this, this area was kind of choppy. There's some wins in there, um, but it did keep you out of trades that are that reversed on you to help you avoid those breakouts, those large gap ups and downs and things like that. Here's a good little area. You know, you could have made some money right here. But then, then right here, this is what you're really wanting to pay attention to is this big move right here. You know, you, got, you get your setup, make sure it crosses above the high of the previous bar, make sure it's above the zero line on the CCI, and you can plot the CCI on here if you wanted to, but it already does that in the background. And you can edit this and put different indicators if you'd like as well. And then once you've gotten your trigger line, or your trigger on it, make sure to get into the trade. Very next can candlestick gives you the stop strategy, and or see the exit strategy, and it just, I mean, look at that move. It was just a really good move. Your slope looks good. You know, and it's it's not a hugely pro, uh, traded company. You know, you're, pay, you're uh, not, excuse me, a stock trader would pay $149 a share, whereas, you know, if you want to trade options, you can minimize your, your risk even further because, you know, a couple dollars here and there, how much you'd pay for an option. So, and it's just a really good, easy system to follow. So let's run some more scans and get some more uh, candidates to look at here. And for those that are on our YouTube page, if you uh, have any symbols that you want me to look at, I can definitely look at those and look at the last few trends and trades that it triggered so we can go off what you trade, maybe not just what I'm looking at here. But let's go through and just run another scan. We'll do the veracity setup again. And then, well, let's actually switch it up. Let's just look for the ones that are giving me signals right now, either buy or sell. And let's just do the S&P 500. So just go ahead and click on that. I'm just going to leave this at daily, uh, that's and the reason for that is because I only downloaded the daily data for this particular list, and then we'll just go in and click on Start Exploration. And you can see how much faster the scans run when um, 
when you have downloaded your data. I'll run one that's online and you'll kind of see the difference between the two. So we've gotten a long by, short by list. Let's go ahead and just click on Abbott Laboratories, double click it, and it automatically just puts that on there because I had that saved already as my template here. We'll go ahead and just close out of the Explorer results window. Okay, so you can like I like he talks about and like I said earlier, you've gotten your diamond right here. You hit the low of the previous candlestick, so you'd be in the trade. And at that point, you you really have um, experience over this. The uh, indicator is really breaking out of that setup. So this would actually be a really good opportunity. You can see how prices just kind of consolidated. You know, you d you wouldn't have taken any of these trades because you know the trend just wasn't there. The CCI indicator wasn't signaling an entry. And it really did keep you keep you out. I mean, look at this right here. It gave a setup, but it didn't hit its trigger, and it kept you out of this, this drop in the market. You lost money there, depending if you're trading an option or if you're trading the stock itself. You know, stock is seventy nine dollars a share. You know, if you're placing a thousand shares or a hundred shares, that could be quite a bit of a loss. But here's a good example right here. You got your diamond for your setup. You've gotten a little bit of a breakout so far on that. Uh, set up candlestick and your very next candlestick is a trigger It depends on you know the very next day But if you want to maybe look at this on a shorter term, then we could look at an online chart So let's just do that let's no, I'm still on hang on just a second. Let me open it through the power console So let's say we want to let's look at the longer trend. Let's go into an hourly chart. Sorry, the shorter trend. Let's go into an hourly chart and see how that did. You know, again, right here. Yeah, you could have taken some of these, and you probably would have paid a little bit in commissions, maybe broke even. But you can see how fast it got you out of the trade once it saw that you started to lose money. You know, it put you in, you got down, just went sideways for a minute, started to break up, get out of the trade. You know, and like I said, right, you probably would have just literally paid commissions and maybe taking a little bit of loss. And that's really the point of this add-on, is to minimize those losses. So this very last one, this is a great setup. You got your setup, you hit your trigger line, because of the, again, the low was hit of the previous candlestick, and it just kept you in that trade all the way down. So let's move to the next uh, candlestick. It gives us our stop information. And, and this is what is just so nice with, with uh, Metastock and how much programming went into this add-on. You know, you, we're probably all, all thinking, oh my gosh, this is just so simple, I could make this all on my own. Well, the thing is, is that it does a lot of different calculations in the background. So it's not just the CCI and the moving average that are, that are taken into effect when it triggers these, these trades. You know, there's a lot of other, other information that goes in there. It bases it on a lot of different indicators. But what it's, what it's doing and how it works is very simple. There's really not a lot to it. So you get your setup, you get your signal, the very next candlestick is where you should place your stop strategy. And then you look at the trend right there. Great, great trade. And it got you in, or sorry, out of the trade almost at the bottom. So this really is taking into um, the whole saying, you know, buy the bottom, sell at the top. Sell at the t top, buy, the, buy back in the bottom, or exit out at the bottom. So it's, it's a great little add-on. And the other thing that um, like I had mentioned, if you do purchase this add-on or have this add-on, there are some really good training classes that Vince goes through and provides um, some really expert um, advice because uh, that's what he's done for the most part of his career. So let's go ahead and uh, look at... Ke um, I just want to pause really fast. Uh, Kelly, were there any questions or anybody that wants to look at different symbols? Yeah, could we, yeah, could we look at uh, Facebook, please? So we'll just do FB.O, got it on a daily chart. It's, whoops. Okay. So again, you want to look at like the past, how well it's done. And this is actually done really well. Here's a perfect move right here. Got your setup. And this was back in uh, April. So, you know, still this year. So this is a, a great example. You got your setup. Your trigger was hit because you crossed the high of the previous candlestick, and you're in the trade. Now, yeah, a lot of these are going to be sometimes a few weeks at a, at a time. Sometimes they're only going to be a couple days, depending on the time frame that you're in. 
Um, that's a great setup right here, and it gave you, got you out of that trade right as soon as it started to reverse in the market. And look at that slope. It's just a really, really clean trend. Here's another one, perfect example. Get you in on the setup. You got in on the trade because you're, um, it hit the high of the previous candlestick and then gives you your stop uh, strategy to set up for on the very next bar or the very next candlestick and just kept you in the trade all the way to the top. And that's what you want to pay attention to with this add-on is are those large moves. These little tiny choppy ones, they're not going to make you any money. Most of the time you're going to lose money on there. So um, were there any others or was that the only one, Kelly? Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and look at Tesla as well if we could. Okay, so here's a here's a good example of where you would where the veracity is a very conservative system. Got you in on the trade, you got the trigger, and you immediately uh, you had maybe a couple losses of um, candlesticks there, and then it got you out of the trade. So it's a really good conservative system, and if you want to trade this aggressively, you definitely can. Here's a perfect. Um, I like this one actually a little more. Let's go back and look at that one. So you've gotten your setup based on the veracity conditions, make sure that you hit the low of the previous candlestick, and then you're getting in on a short opportunity, and the very next candlestick is your stop strategy. And it just gets you, you just ride that trend all the way down. And look at the slope, you know, this is what he really looks for, is the, the distance between the indicator and um, the, the candlestick, or basically the trend in this, in this case. And then once it crosses above the uh, candlestick again, that's where he identifies the exit, right here. The next candlestick was where the slope or the moving average crossed, but you would have been out right here. You know, the veracity is indicators currently indicating an end to the short opportunity. Make sure you get out. And he, he j goes through all of this information in his training videos, but it, it, like I said, I mean, you can kind of see how well and how easy it is to use. And it's a very popular, and because it's so popular, it's a very successful add-on. I think we, gosh, we sold so many copies of this when we first released it. And we still do. It's been one of our most popular add-ons um, out in our arsenal of, of add-ons. You know, I'm sure some of you know that we have a lot of add-ons out there. But were there any other symbols, Kelly? Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, so basically, let's um, let's dive into maybe let's look at another market other than the U.S. Let's go into let's go into the Australian market. Now, I don't know which ones are good to be looking at in Australia. So let's just kind of pick one. And we'll see how well. Do, uh, do, do, for Australia, do bhp.ax. OK. Oops. So this is BHP group. This, this is a big one that a lot of the Australian guys trade. And again, you go back and look at the past, how well it's done. You know, here's a, a great move right here. Here's a really good setup right here. You just gotten out on a kind of a choppy area right here. You know, it helped you kind of just break even, maybe taking a very minimal loss, and then very next uh, few candlesticks, it's triggering a setup, and it gets you right into that trade. Look at that! It gapped up right there. It got you into that trade before that gap, and then you just ride it all the way up. You know, the very next uh, candlestick gives you your st your uh, stop strategy to be looking for. And then you just ride it all the way up to the top. And once and once it triggers the exit, based on the CCI, it puts that symbol right on the chart. And this is the nice thing with Metastock. You know, it's a great charting platform. And we, I get this uh, feedback all the time. You know, we have the best charts out there, very clean, crisp, um, easy to use. It's a very straightforward program. You know, as you probably can tell while I'm giving this webinar, there's just a lot of really good and really easy things to do inside of Metastock. And it's a great charting platform, which is also why we've been around for 33 plus years. Um, any others? Is that it? Uh, I don't have anything over here. Do you have any questions? Uh, let's see. No. Nope. Well, I think I um, kind of want to close things out. Um, like I said, I mean, it's an all inclusive add on. You get your scans, you get your setups, you got your signals when to get in and out. It sets up your exit strategy as well. Um, and it, it puts all of those symbols right on the charts. 
<laughs> and it puts all those symbols right on the charts as well. So it's just a very inclusive, very good add-on. Um, I just want to finish the last part with my PowerPoint and kind of give you guys a really, really good offer uh, today for attending the webinar. So let me go back to my PowerPoint here. There we are. Okay, so got a really, really good promotion right now. For those of you that don't have Metastock 16, um, we're going to do a promotion where you can get both the upgrade and also the add-on for $9.99. Now, if you have Metastock 16 already, we normally sell this add-on, and we have sold it quite a few times for $2,000. That's how good this is. And we're doing a webinar special now for those that have 16 already that you can get it for $7.99. And we're going to put an expiration of October 25th on that. And the only way you're going to be able to get that is if you call me directly. My number is there. So if you're here in the U.S. or Canada, number is the 800-882-3034. And then you have the international one as well, anybody outside of uh, North America. And I'd be happy to go over different uh, things on it. If you had maybe some confusion during the webinar, I'd be more than happy to talk a little bit more about um, the add-on, how it works, what you get with it, how to access the training classes. But again, I, this is our probably our most popular add-on. It's my favorite one because it is so simple and it is very conservative. It helps you stay out of those bad trades that you maybe would have gotten in on a hunch or somebody else is trading it or something like that. So it would just be really nice to have this tool to know if that's going to be a good trade to take or not. Um, and like I said, you can all... Um, one last thing on there, you can also chat with me online through our sales chat, just metastock.com forward slash sales chat. Make sure you ask for Dave in order to get this uh, price. And I'll email everybody as well, or actually everybody will get an email automatically here with the recording and the special promotion. But if you do want to take advantage of that, make sure that you contact me before the 25th of October. And all my contact information is here. But I just... Um, if there aren't any other questions, I don't see anything in our go-to webinar or anything on YouTube, Kelly. Then I'm just going to close things out. I really appreciate everybody joining us today for a nice little presentation on the Veracity add-on by Vince Vora. Uh, if you have further questions, let me know, and we'll be happy to answer those. Thanks again for attending. Hope everybody has a great rest of your day.